Hello everyone, Mano here again. Today, vocals. Trust me, you're going to like this one. Let's jump into it. All right, so this is the perfect video to do today because a couple of days ago I got my third COVID booster and my seasonal flu shot at the same time, and I'm feeling blech. So we're going to process a lead vocal completely using COS Pro, Mixed Monolith, and other people's plugins as well, and we're not going to listen to it. I don't feel like listening to it, and quite frankly, we don't need to. So here's our song. Here's our vocal. Cargado por uh, the vocal was recorded completely raw. No compression, no equalization, no processing of any kind. Just from the microphone right into the doll. And I don't want to hear it. My head is bumping. Which is the beauty of uh, COS Pro and Mixed Monolith. You know, we don't need to hear it. That's how powerful they are. So the first thing we're gonna, we want to do is we want to smooth out the signal and get it ready for compression. Well, DSing and compression. All right, so let's bring up COS Pro. And we're going to use that at 75% spectrum smoothing. All right. So that way it'll be the EQ curve will be a little bit more gradual. All right. Now I've looped um, uh, just one short verse and a short chorus. So the chorus, he sings a little harder. So it gets a good look. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, you know, of the indicative of his whole performance for now. All right. So we're going to hit auto generate ceiling. It creates a ceiling. Let me switch back. I always explain this, but when you're looking at your spectrum here for vocal, you can see this is kind of a funky shape uh, as far as like the, the low end should not be going way up. But anyways, this is your chest. This is the, the beginning of the throat, the lower throat, the upper throat, your nose, and then your air. Okay. So first thing we want to do is we want to set this. Let's bring this down to... Right there at the chest. All right, and we're going to put that to the nose. All right, so let's go back to to seventy five percent, and let's just get rid of these other. Eh, we'll have to learn again. Doesn't matter. Get rid of these guys because from our uh, the beginning of the throat all the way up to our air, we uh, which is ten k. Right, we want that to follow minus four or five. All right, so that's what we want, not that. All right, and from from our um, our chest to the bottom of our roll off, which would be down here at 20. We could even kind of do that. We want that to follow minus, or excuse me, inverted brown. All right. So let's move that out of the way. Let's move this down here. Move the guide up a little bit more. All right. So with this guy sitting right here, we want this maybe like that. We don't need all of these guys here. we go maybe a little more like you know what yeah like that see so now our chest and the bottom of our of our roll off are in balance with noise it's all this it's just noise in balance with noise now for from our chest to our lower throat we want that to follow white okay so we will go here and maybe drop that down Drop that down. Okay, now let's hit conform. There you go, a nice gradual. Now here's uh, something to keep in mind. When we uh, design the EQ, it's, there's an average involved, right? So just because these two guys might be lining up, you know, your ceilings are lining up with white, doesn't mean that your this is your actual sound. It might be slightly off, no problem. So we'll just drop this down a little bit more. And let's do one more. Because I'd rather kind of cut that out than anything. There we go. So these two guys are now pretty much right there in balance. And let's just check. Well, you know what? Yeah. And let's check the inverted brown. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, let's drop this. Let's drop this one back. Because that'll move, that'll move this up. Okay. There we go. That looks good. Now let's check our brown, or excuse me, our minus four or five. 
Good. Uh, we've got a little bit poking up here at 1K, and as you know, 1K is nothing that the human ear likes to listen to. It's generally always a cut. Well, sometimes with guitars you want to poke out, but generally always a cut. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's grab these. Just kind of drop that down. See, we're just shaping the wave. Easy. Easy peasy. All right. So there's our EQ. Cool. All right. Now we're ready for our de -esser. So let's let it have one good look, a little pass through, just to make sure that we're not peaking here, that we're as close, maybe you know, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, you know, uh, minus 0.5, minus 0.3, so that our de -esser will be hit nice and hard. And we'll just use a, uh, there's a bunch, but we'll use a standard. Let's just use Cubase, the default de -esser, and grab this guy. Well, should we do... Nah, let's stick with S. Yeah. All right. Where are we at? 375. Let it get a pass. Okay, so let's do that. 32. And that's the beauty. You know, you can you can literally work in any environment. It's kind of like, <clears throat> let's take a moment here. When planes, and I've mentioned this in other videos, but when airplanes were first invented, you had to look outside when you were flying, right? Uh, if you if you didn't if it was overcast night or black you, you couldn't see where you were at you would you would crash you know and so the first thing someone did was well at some point somebody invented instruments so now the you could look right at your instruments you know have have a cockpit painted black take off fly and land and be and know exactly where you're at that's basic basically what this is for uh, for sound okay so you know how in a plane you have your attitude. Uh, indicator. Well, this is our oral indicator, not our oral, but A U R A L, oral, oral indicator. So we always know where where we're at. Okay. Anyways, I digress. So that's uh, learned. That was three two five. So we'll go up two point eight. All right. Okay. That gives us a little leeway. Now after the, you can see it's hitting it nicely every time he's singing. After he hits that, let's go to compression, mono uh, compressor. We use anything. Ah, let's do a manly box box. Yeah, let's do that. All right, and we're only gonna we only want it for the compression. We already leveled out our EQ to hit the compressor nicely. So let's do heavy rock, folks. All right, and we'll just bypass this and even turn these off. We don't need any EQ. See where our gain reduction is. That looks nice. Maybe make a little makeup gain there. Let's check to make sure we're not uh, peaking for the next stage. Why do you come up over there? Yeah. So we're not. We have some headroom. Cool. All right. So, and the next stage is the mix monolith because we want to hit our virtual tape. And the virtual tape, um, even though it's a, a, a plugin and it's in the digital zone, it was designed to act as if it's an, in the analog world. So if you hit your virtual tape with a signal, a, a normalized signal hitting at zero, it's just going to slam it. That's not where you want to run them. So as, as I'll show you, let's go here. Let's go down to... Studer. All right, and let's just bring up the, you know, you can always mess with them, but let's bring that up. Now you can see, boom, see, we're, we're close at the, at zero, but that's not where you want it. We want actually at minus 30. So let's go here. These are all the factory presets I made for the website today um, as safeties. We'll go to FX, hit the tape. That's uh, on the uh, the extra presets on our website, free. As you can see, that's minus 30. All right, so we'll just learn. Let it get a good look. Even as it's learning, you can see it dropped it down by 12. Now, that's a lot more where it should be because in the analog world, they calibrate their tape machines so that a, a, um, a 1 kilohertz tone uh, hits your tape at minus 18 dBFS. And we designed the, the mixed monolith where at its default, minus 30, uh, a one kilohertz tone, 
will hit the VU meter, meter on the tape right at minus 18 dBFS. So as you can see, all right, now it's had a good look. Now on the louder parts, it's going to be up. Now if you want to saturate your tape, you can turn this up, you know, the, the input on the tape, but you're not overloading the input of the tape, just like in the real world, in the analog world. See, so your tape machines are going to work great. We can even just lock that. All right. So now we're good. We're set there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now the, the next thing we're going to do is bring up. Let's get rid of that guy. Let's move this guy out of the way. We're going to bring up COS Pro for our final EQ. All right. Let's go back here to the beginning. And this one we're going to use just right here at default at 50%. All right. Just let it get, have a good look. Now for vocals, the same sort of thing. Here's your chest. There's your, your throat. We want these at white. And we're going to want this at brown from here on up at brown. And well, I'll show you. Okay. So let's bring this up. Okay, vocals on average, if you want like a nice warm vocal, they're pretty much all going to do the exact same thing. Doesn't matter if it's a big burly man, little girl, whatever. Minus or minus four five would be more of like a rock tone because as you can see, um, this would give you more high end, right? From here to here, you're actually going to have more high end. Brown noise is going to be a warmer, so like for R and B or for whatever, and sometimes there's a combination, but. What we want right now is we want this to follow brown up to here. We don't want this guy that high for this, you know, for the song. We'll, we'll adjust that, but let's do brown here first. Oof, head is bumping. But, again, get to work in silence. All right. Is that a good look? Let's grab our EQ, bring that up. All right. Oh, you know what? We're going to start with him right there and get this part here. Right on brown, grab this guy. See, we always know exactly where we're at. We know where we're at. Our ears can lie to us. This won't. Noise never will. All right, let's just check to make sure that our... Ah, see? Well, let's do subtractively. So we'll grab here, drop this down. I want those guys to both be following. And remember we had inverted brown. Yeah, I'm protected from, uh, I had COVID actually way back in the beginning. It was a brutal. Yeah, it was very rough, almost took me out. Um, well, go here. that kind of smooth out yeah see that looks pretty good and check the brown one more time oh come on nice now it has the time to settle in okay uh, let's freeze it now it's had a good look now we can freeze it all right and just make sure All right, so now for this high, the high part here, now what we could do, you know, there's a couple different things. I'll, and I'll show you what I want to do for this, but, you know, the beauty is when you're listening to it, you could have these guys line up and say, you know, I, I want, you know, a little bit more, you know, want some nice air. So, okay, now these guys are in balance. There you go. So now you're in balance. Your air and your top of your throat are in balance if you wanted to you could see once it's frozen we can do anything um we could actually say you know what i want it to follow brown all the way you know if you want it super warm so you go here drop that down and then just go in here you're just shaping your wave and say okay you know i want that like that maybe down a bit all right so and that would be a nice sound, you know, be a nice warmer, not so much air, but a little bit more intimate. Okay. But that's not what we want for this. So let's bring this back up. What we want to do here is we want to go back to brown, but we want to follow 
Instead of brown going here, we want to follow from the back, from the chest, not the throat. So from, from right here around 5 and up, we want that to follow brown. Or excuse me, minus uh, 4.5. My bad. All right. Let's grab this. Yeah. Need a new mouse. Okay. And grab this. Let's go from there. All right. Oh, that guy got bumped up. Let's grab here. See, we always know exactly where we're at. So now we have some nice warmth with brown going up. And then we have uh, 4.5 back to here. And I can't remember if we checked our inverted brown or not, but I think we did. But, you know, let's, let's do it again. Yeah, we did. Okay. So there you go. There's our vocal. Now, just make sure that we're not, okay, our level's down low because, remember, we dropped the level way down low for the tape. So, you know what? Let's go here. There's like 13. Let's give it like 12. Makeup gain. Get rid of our guide. And we just make sure we're not peaking. <clears throat> And then we're actually going to, with a monolith right after this, put it at its, at its proper volume so it's actually mixed into the song. You know, it's pretty dang simple. That's powerful. Like I said, there's two tools that you, you need because look how easy it was to use everybody else's stuff. Now, if you're hearing, you can go through, you know, test different compressors and see what sounds because, you know, they, they all have a sound, you know. Different sounds. A Fairchild will sound different than a Manly will sound different than a, you know, an SSL. So, you know. Okay, yeah, we're not peaking. So we'll go in here, and we can just throw that guy away. Or move him out of the way. And we're just going to go to vocal, lead vocal. All right. And go back here and learn this. Simple. Simple, simple. You know, that's what, that was a whole point of, you know, me creating these, you know, Mix Monolith and, and COS Pro is it's about freedom, you know, freedom. I'm free. If I can work like this, if you can do this, come on, you can do that. You, you can make a line, follow another line. You're free. You're, you're free to just uh, explore all kinds of stuff. Not, you're never going to, uh, to worry about your levels again. You're never going to worry about your EQ again. You're always going to know where you're at, period. All right. And, boop, let's bring this back up. And put on Nada nos puede quebrar. Sentado en un astronave. Not bad. Cargado okay. Now, for background vocals, things are a little bit different. The, the process is basically the same, except for, let me bring up a COS Pro here on a background. Except for, generally speaking, the steeper uh, a noise ceiling, a noise slope, right? So from brown, minus 7.5, as you get steeper, you have more low end. More low end, less high end, the further back a sound will seem to be. But for background vocals, it's actually the complete opposite. You're going to follow pink or even minus 4.5. But in this one, we're going to do pink, and, and but just roll off more of the high end. So here, let me show you. Let me get rid of this. And in our pre user presets, and these presets are available on the website, Download them and copy paste them into your COS Pro. Here we have a uh, background backing vocal box. Okay, you can see from 500 to 200, uh, 2000 uh, hertz, 2K, we're following pink, right? And then from 2K up to 10K, we're following brown, all right? And then there's variations where if you want to follow minus four or five here, you'll actually have even more roll off. And, you know, these, each variation would, would have a slight different tonality based on, you know, the, the, the genre and how you want it to, to sit with the lead vocal. But the, let's go back here to the 
one I want to use, the vocal, the backing vocal box. So we're going to have, you know, more of this upper throat and even the, the chest will be right where it normally is. But the presence, the nose in the air where the presence is, we're going to, we're carving that out, cutting that out and leaving that for the lead vocal. So the background vocal will, will have this weight and be there with a the lead vocal, but the lead vocal will just sit on top of it because it's got more presence and air and stuff like that. So um, let's solo these guys. These are our two background vocals. Uh, I loop the chorus where these guys are playing. And all right. And let's let them have a, a good learn. All right. Whoops. Let's bring up. Where's our vocal box? All right. So I'm going to turn down the lead the volume here and just let these guys learn a bit. Okay, and these are basically right, right where they need to be from earlier, but we're just going to check them. And if anything's poking out, we're going to, you know, drop it in. You know, just even it out. Use COS Pro, use the, the EQ, and, and that's it. And then the because we, we have more cutoff here, we can leave a little bit more low end or we can cut it off. You know, we could follow inverted brown or get even steeper, whatever. You know, use use your ears when you're when you're EQing, but it's you're just following you're following noise. Noise is following noise, so it's easy. Alright. All right. Let's freeze those. Stop it. These are all my fader, my master. I put it down. Okay. So <clears throat> you can see, let's line this up here. There's our chest, and we want to drop our nose down a little bit. We're almost there on these guys, but it's just a matter of, you know, perfection. But perfection with the right tools is easy. There we go. Let's bring this up. All the way from 2K. All right, and I'll drop this down a little bit. Again, we don't even need to hear these guys. We know exactly where we're at. Yeah, let's bring that up a little bit more there. Yeah. Okay. And you know what? Let's do that. That looks good. Let's go over to this guy. Same sort of thing. Drop him out. Or down, excuse me. Bring this up a bit from two. You know, and you just do this. It doesn't matter with the vocalist, you know, Human, the, the mechanics of human sound, like I said before, are the same for every human being. We all make sound the same way. We all make noise the same way. So it's pretty simple. Now let's just check this real quick. And you know what? I want to use a little steeper than the inverted, inverted brown, which was here. Let's go down to 10.5. 10, maybe not that steep. Let's do 7.5, excuse me. Cool, we're already there, and let's check it here. Because, you know, there's inverted brown. I just want a little bit, a little bit steeper. Okay, well, we can grab a little bit of this and drop them down. I mean, you might not hear this little teeny difference, but you'd be surprised. Subtle can be big, uh, especially, you know, you're talking about being uh, perfect, right? So... Those are there, and now what we'll do is just bring up these monoliths just to have them learn again real quick. Tuck them right where they need to be. Back up a wee bit more. Yeah, my head is bumping. Ooh, but 
doesn't matter. I could still work. If, if I had a deadline, if you had a deadline, you could still work and know exactly where you're at. So let's listen to this. See where we're at. Cool. But now the lead vocal actually needs some automation. So we could write some in, but just for... For ease sake, right, for, for just as an example, I'm going to bring up the vocal writer, all right? Uh, let's just use, which I dropped mixed monolith down because a vocal writer would go before the monolith, all right? So let me go to load. Actually, let's use one of theirs just for, and let's use smooth ride, Okay. So that, let's set it. Queremos más y costo dolor. Oh, oh. Ningún rompe nos para. Queremos más, no hay retro. Oh, so. Nada nos puede quebrar. Queremos más y costo dolor. There you go. All right. Oh, oh. Seems pretty good. Ningún rompe so, nos pa now that we made that, it, it changed volume, so we'll just have Monolith learn again. Queremos más y costo dolor. Oh, oh. Ningún rompe nos pa and Again, we could have done this in silence. But. Queremos más, no hay retro. Oh, so. Nada nos puede quebrar. And here we go. There you have it. Uh, remember the movie Ratatouille? Well, I don't know if any of you saw it. It was a Disney movie about the rat in France that could cook. And uh, I can't remember the, the, the big chef guy, is his idol chef. He said, you know, anybody can cook. Um, well, with the right tools, anybody can mix. And COS Pro and Mix Monolith are the right tools because they're like you know, the, the, the perfect measurements for, for leveling the per perfect measurements for EQ. So you've got the perfect measurements for all the rest of your ingredients with all these different noise signatures and anybody can mix. We just did that in absolute silence. My head is bumping because of my, you know, the, the vaccine shots and just had them a couple of days ago. I'm well, feeling better today than yesterday, but case in point, didn't need to hear it. I could rest my ears and know exactly where I'm at. So Man, there you go. Happy mixing. Do your thing. <laughs>